Hello all my inspirations and welcome to Inspirational Barbary. If you're new to my platform, I welcome you with love. We are a family here, so please get involved. Today we are doing part two of five red flags you should look out for whilst dating. Okay, before we get into that, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, make sure you turn on the notification bell as well. All right, let's get into it. So, red flag number one, they can't say sorry. They don't like to acknowledge what it is that they have done that may have been wrong. They do not take responsibility for their actions. When you present them with a problem and you say to them, oh, this is what you did um, to upset me. You said you was going to come pick me up at eight o'clock, but I didn't see you that day. Where were you? And they do not acknowledge it. They don't apologize. Or better yet, they even try and place the blame on you. And they try and share this responsibility of wrong. They try and share the responsibility with you and say, okay, let's both acknowledge our wrongs and then I can apologise. No. I believe that as adults, mature people getting to know each other, it's very important to take responsibility when it is due. You know, when we're trying to get to know somebody and they don't want to apologise or they don't... Because, you know, let's be honest, things will happen. Nothing is perfect in life. And sometimes you may see some things or, you know, see some certain characteristics or you're in a certain situation. And how we deal with it as people is very important. So if you know that you were expecting he or she to apologise and then they turn around and flip it on you and make it look like you're the bad person or that... You know, you have to take some blame for it. That is a big red flag. I believe that being with a person or getting to know a person that is willing to take responsibility for their actions and that is willing to say, hold on one minute, maybe I could have done it better this time or this way or, you know, reflecting on their actions. That is a big, big sign of growth, I feel. And I think it's commendable when people are actually like that. So when you see a person that you're dating and you're trying to get to know and they don't want to apologize they want to flip the flip the blame on you share the blame with you all these type of things best believe that this is that person a part of that person's character and when there are bigger dealings or whatever it is that maybe you're gonna see further on you know down the line this is how they're gonna probably handle it so be very aware of people that do not want to say they are sorry okay red flag number two they put you down and make you feel inferior. Now, when you say something to them or you bring up a conversation, they mock you when you're talking. They roll their eyes. They have an attitude about your suggestions, about your thoughts. You know, they always try and do something that really they're not showing your intelligence or they're not trying to highlight, should I say, what it is that you're bringing to the table. They dismiss it. They do not value it. But really, I believe that we're supposed to be with people that when we're getting to know them, they highlight your intelligence. They highlight your values. Or they're even interested. Instead of being with someone that's going to be knocking you down and laughing at you when you're talking, all manner of just nonsense, yeah? We can't really be putting up with that because at the end of the day, we are special and we are important people. So if we're dating someone and everything they say is, uh -huh, you sound silly, uh -huh, what did you say? Oh, that doesn't make sense. You know, all these things that you know deep down inside, it doesn't make you feel good. Do you understand? You just know that it's not a comfortable situation for you. And better yet, when you have an idea or a, th or a thought in future, you will shy away from saying it. And that is not a healthy situation to be in because you should feel free when you're getting to know someone you should feel like yourself you should feel like when you have an idea you want to share it with this person or you know with the your partner whoever they are but definitely i just feel like when people try and put you down that is a big 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 red flag because you need to be yourself at all times honestly so red flag number three they are controlling. <laughs> where's the password for your phone? Where's the where's your e password for your email address, your Facebook, your Twitter account? 
social media they want to be all up in your business let me see your phone who just text you oh i'm going to a party next week when you're at the party they're belling off your line like 10 times 15 times you know these can be elements of control now it can be hard to read this sometimes because definitely when you are getting to know someone you want them to be interested you know in your whereabouts what you're doing what you're up to how your day is so that is fine but i'm talking about that fine line that at the end of the day there is that level of control and when there's control that there, there is definitely going to be some element of power there as well so you don't want them to kind of own you or possess you because you know it's not nice when you are your own person or your own being and it's like they're invading your privacy do you understand like down the line this could also end up to some trust issues as well but that's another red flag <laughs> but yeah so you don't want to be in that kind of situation whereby they're always on your case and they're trying to control your every move they're trying to keep tabs on you unhealthy tabs as well do you understand because i remember there was a story and there was a particular guy that was I guess talking to somebody and he got into her emails right and he was ch trying to tell basically saying that he's predicting everything that sh she had in her inbox yeah so he would say to her oh yeah by the way I know that you have a meeting on the 20 something or the something and she was freaking how do you know all these things do you understand like he was keeping tabs on her and her movements so let's be careful as well who we give our passwords to i don't i don't really know like i feel like we're all mature and maybe we are sometimes we can be the best judgment of our situation but sometimes we're not so we have to be careful as well with those type of things i think it well yeah i don't know if it it could be a certain level of a relationship where you start doing that but i don't know if it's necessary or not i don't really think it is but yeah <laughs> discussion for another day all right and this is the reason why i want you all to be in my lives as well because these are the kind of conversations that we can talk about where i'm not having to cut down what i say or say it in a short time and things like that so definitely be on board with those lives okay red flag number four users now i feel like when it comes to dating somebody and getting to know the person you know we have to look at the reason why that you know why they want to be with us or what it is that they see in us that they like you know these are very important things because sometimes people can be out in these streets and they just want to use you they want to get to know you because of what you have or what you possess okay for example financial users right they could be the people that will be like, oh, could you please borrow me money? Could you please lend me money? Do you understand what I'm saying? Could you please help me buy this? Could you please help me buy that? They're always just taking, 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 sucking you dry financially. Do you understand? Could you, could you please pay my rent? You know, all these things, okay? So when we're getting to know someone, try and establish what they see in you, why they want to be with you. Also, people could be physically using you. Let's say, for example, they just want to sleep with you. I'm talking about men or women. You know, they want to just sleep with you. They only want to use you, wet, like booty calls. They only want to sleep with you when, it, you know, they, they need to do that or they, that's what they want to satisfy themselves with. Do you understand? They just want to use you physically. As women, I believe that we should always respect ourselves, always value ourselves. And definitely when we see the sign in a man out the door okay same thing for the fellas do you understand when you want to get to know someone i believe i'm talking to people that you don't want to get to know serious um individuals out there maybe with a long-term goal these are the signs that we don't have any time for when a guy just calling you inappropriate hours a woman's calling you inappropriate hours don't entertain that okay also emotional abusers they are just sucking you dry right they're just trying to drain you. They only want to call you or talk to you when they have, let's say, something wrong has happened. Or, you know, it's just never positive energy. They just want to use your time. They want to be on the phone with you 24-7, but they have nothing really to contribute. It's just an emotional situation and an, an emotional 
confusion, right? That they only call you when they feel is best and necessary. And that's not the kind of people we want. We don't want people to be just using us and taking our time. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like, we want people that are going to be consistent, actually looking to get to know us, not just trying to emotionally use us and confuse us about even the situation that we're in at the time, okay? So, red flag number five, cheaters. Have you all heard the saying that, you know, the way you got him or her is the way that you will lose them? Let's be careful of how these guys or females try and draw us, try and get us close. Because sometimes some men will say, oh, they're going to leave their partner for us. They're going to leave their partner, you know, to be with us or to be with you or whatever the case is. They're going to leave their partner. Do you understand that? Like, that is not something that we want to be involved in. We don't want to be involved with anybody that has any strings attached to them. You know, I know that even in some situations, people may say that, you know, they're dating someone who is separated, which I understand can happen. And I don't want to generalize, you know, a whole topic because we don't know someone's situation. But even in that situation, my best advice is let the um, divorce finalize before you get into that because there have been cases whereby some people may have dated a guy that's separated but he's had different thoughts you know or maybe he's ended up going back with his wife and or his or their husband yeah um so we need to be careful of those those sort of things we don't want to be in any triangle none of that stuff do you understand if someone is devoted to you it's between you and that person don't involve yourself in these sad type of situations that in the long run you could be left hanging and hurt this is not what we're going for so let us never be in a situation where we feel lonely and i know how it you know may feel for some of us to feel lonely and feel like oh do you know what let me just get him he said he loves me so at the end of the day even if he's with this girl and he wants to leave her for me i'm the winner no not necessarily because he could also be with you and then someone else comes along and he might be like, oh, I like her more than I like you, I'm out. That is a very telling sign of a guy or a woman when they do things like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I can't generalise every situation, but it's just less mess if you're not involved in that. It's less mess and it's less confusing. It's better for the person to be clean and clear. That's why a lot of times I believe that when people are getting to know each other, they kind of say, like, when was your last relationship? Do you understand? Because I believe they're trying to connect the dots and see, hmm, is there a chance of you going back? Are you sure you're free from that relationship? Because if you're not, maybe I'm not the best person. Because I want to get hurt out here. I don't want to be the person that's left hanging or you still feel like you love your ex. So, let's be careful, okay? Let's not be with anybody that's cheating on us either. If you see the guy is or the woman is is too you know you're just not trusting trust your instincts and trust your gut and also remember to pray okay when we're in this situation make sure you pray not like you're trying to catch somebody out but there are certain things that we see with the physical eye that really god is trying to expose to us you know with a spiritual eye basically so yes i hope you liked this um part two five tips on red flags that we need to look out for whilst we're dating i really enjoyed doing that i really enjoyed talking to you all and i feel blessed today and i hope you also do so guys be inspired be encouraged be blessed until next time mwah, i will see you soon don't forget to hit that notification bell as well okay take care